terrible towels are out in full force. We're in Pittsburgh for this matchup between the Eagles and the Steelers. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. You just have to love these types of games because there's just so much bad blood. There's such a deep rivalry here. The spirit is intense, and these teams will do anything to beat the other team. Yeah, I think so. You know, we, we had a chance to talk to the players. They talk about how much they love playing the opponent and playing in these rivalry games. And also the coaches, they don't even hide the fact that they don't like each other. So emotions, they're all out there. We're going to see a hard-hitting game here today. And now, with more on today's game, let's go down to Danielle Bellini. Thanks, Jim. Lots of time was spent this week talking about avoiding turnovers. Turnover differential is always very important, but this coaching staff harped on it even more than usual this week because they feel like this will be a close game that's decided by who makes a crucial mistake. Guys? Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Throws the stiff arm. Here's the former first pick now. Michael Vick taking the field for his first series today. Michael Vick still very sudden. When he wants to move and get out of the pocket, it is not a problem after all these years. Probably still the fastest quarterback in the National Football League. Selix, a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. First and ten. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. Jeremy Macklin is a threat on the outside for the Philadelphia Eagles. Jim, they need Jeremy Macklin to stay healthy because when healthy, he's one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. Avant lined up in the slot. Second down and four. He'll fire it out to the left. They have their first first down of the game. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Selix usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. First down and 10. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson. Number seven, with the completion. Gain of 32. Rhythm, you hear it so often in sports, and it is true, especially on the offensive side. That's another first down by the offense. They got some rhythm. And these kind of these kind of drives usually lead to scores. Watch the blitz. Watch the, let's go, watch the blitz. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Now first and ten. They'll run it. Ball's loose, and it's a takeaway. Roethlisberger is the man in charge of the offense here today. Big Ben Roethlisberger is the reason why they call him big, because he is. He can sit in there, take the hits, and still throw that football down the field. Hey, man, 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 man. The Eagles come out in the nickel. 
First and ten. Bell's going to secure the handoff. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. Here's the offensive line, which must protect its quarterback today. And today's starting lineups have been brought to you by Papa John's Pizza. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Brown's going to get set in the slot for this snap. A second and three. And he's tackled down at the 36-yard line. Excellent job of just picking up the first down. This offense is hot. Another first down, and they are moving down the field. Bells in the backfield. Single back set. First and ten. They'll stay on the ground on first down. And Patrick Chung is able to bring him down. Good job by the running back in that long run. It's one thing to have talent, but the first thing you need as a running back is vision. You have to pick the right running lane. That's what he did that time, able to get down the field and get that long game. Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. The defense gets the sack. This Philadelphia defense has quite a presence with D'Amico Ryans. Yeah, D'Amico Ryans, we saw him make a lot of tackles with the Houston Texans, and he did the same thing last year with the Eagles defense. He knows how to get to the football. Coming to the line at the 38. One last play before the quarter ends. Roethlisberger takes the snap from the gun. Roethlisberger able to find Emmanuel Sanders. That'll do it for the first quarter here in Pittsburgh. We'll be back in just a moment. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First down here after the completion. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. That was a nice play call by the offensive coordinator running the football in the red zone, and he picked up some good yards. Second down coming up. will run it with him again. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. First down here after the run. So first and goal to go. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Patrick Chung makes the hit. When you see zone defenses, throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. Coming up, second down. Second and goal from the eight. Going off tackle here. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive. Crowd the line of scrimmage. And you just you just played right into their hands, and they got the tackle for the loss. Glad to have you back as we come out of the two-minute warning here in the first half. Offense lines up here. Third and goal from the 10. Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They almost pick it off in the end zone. Well, that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. Should be what we call a gimme. 
he converts here on the field goal try. There's nothing like being ahead in a football game, no matter how many points it is, because now you can manage it in a different way, even though it's early in this game, and you make the other team come after you. Steelers setting up here for the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. And that's a kick return of about 24 before being brought down. Selleck's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. They send the tight end in motion. Fix back in shotgun formation. Brent Selleck makes the catch. Gains nine. Hurry up. Two-minute offense. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Second and one. He's into the open and slides to a stop. Selleck's move from the tight end position to the slot. First down and ten. He's got a little bit of daylight here. Number seven on the run. Avant's lined up now as a slot receiver. Vick standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. With two hands, he has it. Number seven. Getting set as fast as they can. Avant's a receiver in the slot. Vix looking long. Oh, bad decision that time by the quarterback. He tries to force the football into the end zone and it almost gets picked off by the defense. Second down now. From the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. Incompletion there. Just not quite able to get the beat down. In these type of situations when you're losing the game, it's third and long. Don't try to be a hero because when you try to be a hero, it's going to lead to a turnover. Then you really will be in trouble. The Eagles come to the line. First down marker is at the 32. Cooper's in the slot. Tight end in motion. Fix going to take the snap from the shotgun. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Terrible job by the quarterback. It's third down, you throw it short of the markers, well, you get a completion, that's great. Uh, you're really accurate, but there were guys open down the field. Take a chance and go for it. An empty possession for the offense. I think, Jim, that, that field goal, if he'd have made it, would have tied the game. I think the kicker felt the pressure, looked a little tight, and just. Just didn't kick the football freely, and I think that's why he missed. They come to the line, and it's first down. Two, two. two. Ben Roethlisberger dropping back in shotgun formation. Under pressure and incomplete. Too much pressure on the quarterback on that play, Phil. Oh, that defense, boy, oh boy, are they aggressive and they can get after the quarterback. We saw it on that play. This is going to be a tough assignment for this offensive line today. The Eagles lined up in the nickel. Second down and ten. 
secures it with two hands. Pat Chung makes the tackle. The Steelers call the timeout. They're first. Browns lined up in the slot. Roethlisberger takes the snap from the gun. Challenges the coverage and has the completion. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. Millers moved away from the tight end position to now a receiver in the slot. Now first and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Second down. Set. Watch Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. You don't want none, baby. You don't want none. Hey. hey. Roethlisberger's going to take it from the gun. The quarterback throws to the right. The Steelers call a timeout and are left now with only one. Offense ready to play after calling a timeout. Miller's shifted from tight end to a receiver in the slot. Ben Roethlisberger dropping back in shotgun formation. Makes the reception. Number 26 on the reception. Gate of two. The quarterback that time realized it was zone coverage. He just waited for the defense to get out of position, and he threw it to the open hole. The defense comes out in the nickel. Second down and eight. He's looking to the right. He in his hands. Complete touchdown. What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. They've got to make the catch. That time he did. The Steelers now will tack on the extra point. Inside of the uprights. Sean Sweezum readying his team for the kickoff. He's a dangerous returner, and he'll have a chance to show you right here. And he's taken down after a return of about 28. The Eagles are getting set for their next possession. One more snap in halftime. First and 10. Scanning the field. Polamalu with the pick. 
That does it for the first half. Eagles trail in this one, which is brought to you by Verizon. this one where the Steelers lead by 10. Danielle's got an update from the sideline. Let's go to her now, Danny. I had a moment to speak with Coach Kelly during halftime. It's an uphill battle for his team guys as they head into the second half, but he says it's not the time to get frustrated. There's no reason to try and be a hero. Just follow the game plan and things will work themselves out. I'll send it back up to you guys. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Steelers are ready to take over now as their offense heads onto the field. Brown's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and 10. That's a gain of seven. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Ben Roethlisberger takes a look down from under center. It's second down and three. Bell's handed the football. And that picks up three. In this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time, they stopped that run just for a short game. down now right back to him one more time that's been the story of this game another third down conversion to move the chains nice job that time the run play gets the first down you move those chains hey it's kind of fun to watch a team tough enough and patient enough to run the football to get these first downs instead of throwing it all the time they're able to move the chains after that last run looks to his left Antonio Brown with the catch. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing lead, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. Offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. As they go round here. Number 26 gets the call on the run. Eight of one. Running it, it's second down. They feed him the ball again. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Good job by the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. The Steelers need to get to the 42 for the first down. 
Following the run, it's now third and seven. Roethlisberger's got it in the gun. And he hauls it in. Good, solid tackle. Short of the first. And now we've got a fourth down situation. We're through three here, just off the three rivers in Pittsburgh. And we'll take a short break and return in just a moment for the final quarter. And we're right next door to the home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. PNC Park, right next to Heinz Field here, the home to the Steelers. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The Eagles are set for their next possession. Avant's lined up now as a slot receiver. First down and 10. This is a screen play all the way. Number seven with the completion. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down even though they're losing here in the game. Avance, a receiver in the slot. Tight ends in motion here. Vic in shotgun formation. Working that left side, off the mark. That's not good timing between the receiver and the quarterback. The quarterback that time throws it too quick and too far in front to the wide receiver on the slant route. Second down here. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. Reaches out and grabs it. The tackle is made at the 40-yard line. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Now first and ten. Throwing now to his left. He brings it in here, and he's got the first. The quarterbacks and wide receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. You knew this was going to happen. There's the red flag, and the coach disagrees with the call on the field. Play rule comes into effect and a challenge pays off. The play is overturned. Yeah, so many close calls in the NFL. And we see it every single week. That's a good job by the head coach. Get the information, making that decision, and he wins. Selleck's playing out of position in the backfield here. Second and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. That catch will extend the drive. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. Fix back in shotgun formation. Gets past the first wave. That's enough for a first down. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. In the red zone. Just two minutes left in this one now. Back in a moment. Coopers in the slot. First and ten. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. 
Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. Second down after the incompletion. Vic standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Trying to find an open man. Touchdown and drawing close. I'm going to give all the credit to the offensive line. What a job. The QB had all day long to throw it. And when you give a quarterback in the NFL that long, well, some receiver's going to get open. There you see it. Nice throw. The Eagles with an extra point try on the way. Count it. The Steelers are trying to hold on to the lead. They're waiting for the kickoff here late in the fourth with a slim lead now. The score is 10 to 7. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Steelers now march to the line. Tightly contested game here in the fourth. The score's 10 to 7. Ben Roethlisberger takes a look down from under center. First and 10. Bell's got it on the handoff. And they tackle him there at the 34. After that defensive timeout, we're ready for action. Browns go. lined up in the slot. First down and 10. Bell's taking the handoff. That'll stop the clock with that timeout. One yard gain on the play. Now they'll try over again on second down. Staying on the ground. They up the middle. No surprise. They immediately call the timeout. The Steelers will set up. The 44 is the first down Watch line. The blitz. Watch the blitz. Following the run, it's now Watch third and seven. Like motion, they motion the receiver around to the other side. The give. They go to the right side. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. This one requires a measurement. by just a chain link. It's a first down. Bad job by the defense. They know if they give up a first down, the game is probably over. They get fooled and they give it up. Probably why they're going to lose. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Has the first down. Now looking for more. And that last play made by Pat Chung. This is where an offensive coordinator's got to be smart. You get the red zone, you got a big lead. Just worry about the clock. All very safe plays.
offense now in the red zone. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. Wires going to take the handoff now. That defensive front looks impenetrable here on the goal line. Second and goal from the three. And he takes it across. It is a touchdown. That may have been the clincher right there. Yeah, what a game all day long. So exciting to end it like this late in the game. Man, you enjoy victories like this. The Steelers getting set now for the point after. Makes the PAT. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Turn ends after a run back of about 22. That's it. This game is over. Bill, what a big win this was today. Nothing like beating a rival, a division rival, is there, Jim? To beat somebody you know so well. You face them twice a year, and you look at them, and you go, yep, we won this one. It keeps your confidence really high. This incredible play is the GMC never say never moment of the game. It's been a game we'll always remember. Jim Nance, Bill Sims, so glad to bring it to you.